My name is Tolly Zuckerman, and I love being uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Causing or feeling slight pain or physical discomfort. Causing or feeling uneasy or awkwardness. Why do I crave to be uncomfortable? Why do I wake up every single morning and choose to step outside of normalcy, outside of a place of ease? Because I know the second I cross that line, I have gone to a new place. Not just something that will change me in that moment, but change me forever. Day after day, I push to become more and more uncomfortable. I push myself to be better, the best. So what happens outside this zone? When I consciously push myself to an uncomfortable place, greatness follows, strength follows. Choose to get uncomfortable today, in the gym, in your studies, in your job, or even your social life. Lift heavier, study longer, reach out to people, make connections. Outside your comfort zone, amazing things can happen. Small sums of effort day after day. That's really all it is. So get outside of this comfortability you know so well. It will keep you stagnant. And choose to get uncomfortable. Choose to be great. And choose to be ambitious. Been counting all your aces, you ain't winning. Phone book full of numbers and names All them vain decisions keep you jaded You could have found the one but you won't change So aren't you glad to meet me? I think you should, I'd be glad to meet me If I were you, aren't you glad to meet me? Think you should I make a real good song Out of you, time is ticking slow Yes, you're overdue, aren't you glad to meet me? I think you should I mean, I really think you should, yeah Oh, God, I love me Oh, God, I love you Oh, God you guys saw that was this morning and it was really good did arms and after that I laid out by the pool and it was super nice got some tanning time in um, I got three days off of work so I was like you know what I'm gonna take this time for myself I'm gonna enjoy it I'm gonna tan and when I tan it's like a relaxation time it makes me feel better about myself because who doesn't love looking tan and it actually helps clear up my acne so I just love it I love tanning so I did that for a little bit and then I headed home ate some food and showered and worked on editing this video so I had a nice big salad full of lettuce and honey mustard and three and a half ounces of chicken so that was really delicious and worked on some homework and now it is i believe it's about six o'clock now and um 
I'm just chilling. There's a really nice sunset right now. It feels really good outside. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks and just do some homework for a little bit and chill and enjoy this nice San Diego weather. I hope the I hope what I said in the very beginning of this video really made sense to you guys. So being uncomfortable is where amazing things happen. So once you step outside of that comfort zone, right? I'm sure all of you guys have heard that before. That's where the magic happens. So I really wanted to inspire you, inspire all of you guys to push outside of your comfort zone and just, I'm telling you guys, amazing things will happen to you if you just get out there and push yourself in ways you haven't before and get uncomfortable like like do things you've never done before like talk to people you wouldn't like usually talk to or like push yourself even harder in the gym or whatever it is just get uncomfortable guys because amazing things happen um i don't know i really hope that translates to you guys because it seriously seriously could change your life if you really let it so that's all I've got to say about that. So I'm going to go do some homework for a little bit. So I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Oh, just kidding. Um, I forgot to mention, I know I have some new subscribers thanks to Emily Hayden. What's up? So welcome to my channel. I hope you guys um, enjoy it. I hope you guys are liking what you see. A lot of my stuff is kind of like Emily's just because I look up to her so much and I want to be her basically so a lot of the things I talk about and being ambitious and motivated and stuff that is all that is just like Emily Hayden so I hope you guys like this channel and thank you Emily Hayden you are perfect and beautiful and I love you so yeah just wanted to say that all right let's go let's go do some homework so it's about 8 22 now and got a lot of homework done and I actually wanted to show you guys what I'm eating so don't think I'm like super weird but this is a sweet potato <laughs> covered in PB2 and cinnamon and guys so good it's like dessert it is so good so try it seriously try it a sweet potato some PB2 and cinnamon it will change your life wow <clears throat> Good morning, guys. So, it's about 9 o'clock now. Um, this morning, my school put on this, like, muffins and mimosas thing. Not my school. Greek life. So, my roommates had some people over at, like, 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning. So, I'm really tired. Not feeling too great, but it's okay. Um, I woke up to, like, fresh waffles and muffins and... <sighs> really good I indulged just a little bit or maybe a lot I don't know but it was really good um I adjusted my macros accordingly kind of like I just knew that I ate a shit ton of carbs this morning so I was like all right and I was planning to have lunch with my uh planning to have rice with my lunch I took that out um and I was planning to have like a rice cake with stuff on it later and I just took that out of my macros um just like cleaning up a little bit just to make up for it kind of um and I'm super super full so it's not really that big of a deal because I'm like so full like I can't even drink coffee right now because I'm still full anyways I'm gonna get all my stuff together and head to fit because I know I talked a lot about getting out of my comfort zone but I feel like I didn't I haven't really showed you guys that besides just working out but today something I'm doing outside of my comfort zone is a type of workout it's um like plyometrics and like site uh circuit training and stuff like that i haven't done it in a long 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 time so i wanted to try to get some like jump roping in kettlebells work in maybe some trx stuff that i've never really done or i haven't done in a really long time and i wanted to get my heart rate up and sweat and feel amazing for like an hour to an hour and 20 before i have to hop in the shower and get to work so that is what I'm going to show you guys. That is definitely out of my comfort zone today, especially because I'm a little tired. And I haven't done that in a really long time. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not one of those people that are like, yeah, cardio. Like, it depends. Like, you guys know I'm a spin teacher and I love that. That type of cardio. But sometimes cardio isn't my fave. So, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. But I know in the end I'm going to feel so good and I'm going to be so proud of myself. And that's, that's what it's all about. So... I'm going to pull my life together 
and digest some of these carbs that I just ate. <laughs> and that's what's going on. So I will see you guys at Fit for this workout. And I hope you guys like it in three, two, one. office area uh, I just wanted to end this video and talk to you guys so just to recap what I did for my workout I did about 12 minutes of intervals on the Stairmaster to warm up did four sets of four different exercises for a minute each and then I'm not sure how many I did of the other TRX one just because I started to run out of time because I had to go to work and then I ended up with like I um, cooled down with 10 minutes incline walking on the treadmill and then I'd go shower and get ready but I'm sweating like freaking crazy I don't remember the last time I sweat that much but it felt really good after indulging this morning and all that food I should not have ate um I'm gonna be so straight up and real with you guys because I feel like that's important for this my channel and I feel pretty bad <laughs> um all the sugar this morning and not really sleeping because you know like my roommates are having people over and I've been working a lot and doing a lot of school and working out a lot I'm just really tired and <laughs> I don't feel good and I'm about to go do an eight-hour shift um, here at work by myself and I could probably fall asleep any second <laughs> but um I think I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm still here. I'm, it's one of those days, it's been one of those weeks, months, years, but I'm still here and I'm still pushing and I will continue 
to push even when I'm exhausted and I just want to stop. Um, so I'm also very homesick, um, really missing my family a lot. My mom's actually coming uh, next weekend and I'm like 99% sure that'll be my next vlog of like my mom visiting which would be really fun. We're going to try to do some fun stuff together. but. On the bright side, it's October, and I love October. I always say it's the um, first month of the best months because I love November and December and Christmas and fall. I love it so much, so I'm really excited. And you guys have to think about the positives when you're feeling like this because I know I have a lot of college students following me that are you know, newly on their own and missing home also and very tired because college is hard. Um, but I'm here to tell you guys it's okay. I'm doing it, other people are doing it, and it's gonna be fine. So I really hope you guys got something out of this vlog, got some workout ideas, got some ideas about how to be uncomfortable and push yourself, and, and sometimes it's okay to not be okay. Like, I'm not okay right now. I really wanna sleep, but it's okay. Like, this happens, this is a part of life, and this, is, this will get us to the places where we want to be and I truly believe in that so with that being said I want to thank you guys for watching this video I don't want to end it on like a sad note or anything I just really want to be real with you guys like that's so important to me so I um that's how I'm feeling but I'm gonna get through this shift and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sleep and it will all be okay and this too shall pass it'll be fine. So, I hope you guys have a really good day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment below. I really, really appreciate it. And if you aren't already, follow me on Instagram. What are you doing? The Instagram is in the description below. It's always there. But I'll put it right here just so you guys can see it. So, that's what's going on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.